Hey friends, I'm Kimberly with Sweet Red Poppy. If you've been looking for a cute and easy kids hoodie, then this tutorial is for you. I am going to be sharing my free kids hoodie with you today, and it comes in sizes preemie all the way through a size 16. This hoodie is one of my favorite things to make for my kids because they love wearing it, and they love it because it's so soft and they get to choose the fabric. If you're new to my channel, make sure that you subscribe so that you never miss out on one of my free sewing patterns. I'm going to be walking you through this step-by-step -step tutorial, and I'm going to share some of my tips and my tricks for sewing with knit fabric. Before we get started, I want to talk a little bit about fabric. Now, for this pattern, I recommend that you use a medium to heavy four-way stretch fabric like a cotton lycra, a French terry, sweatshirt fleece, or even velour. Whatever fabric you choose, it's essential that it has at least a 20% stretch. Not sure what that means? A four inch piece of fabric should stretch to at least 4.75 inches. Your fabric must have stretch both horizontally as well as vertically. Now, when you're buying your fabric, you're going to want to look for fabric that is labeled as being a four-way stretch. Make sure that you pre-wash and then dry your knit fabric before you cut it out or sew it. Now, this is going to prevent your fabric from shrinking up on you or having any problems after you've sewn it. For this project, you will need one to two yards of four-way stretch fabric, thread, sewing pins, ballpoint needles, scissors or a rotary cutter and mat, a printer and printer paper, you'll also need tape, an acrylic ruler, and a sewing machine or a serger. To begin, decide on what size you would like to make from this hoodie. You'll want to take a chest and a height measurement of whoever you're going to be sewing this hoodie for. If they happen to be in between sizes, I would recommend that you size up for the very best fit. Step one. Print, assemble, and cut the pattern. Now you're ready to print out the pattern. You can find the link in the description below. Download the pattern to your computer and then go ahead and open it up in Adobe Acrobat and print the pattern at actual size with no scaling. Next, you're going to want to immediately check the one by one inch square to ensure that your pattern has printed off correctly. If that one inch square measures either larger or smaller, the pattern will need to be reprinted for accuracy. Now it's time to assemble our pattern. The Sweet Red Poppy hoodie pattern is numbered one through 18. So you'll want to align the circles and the black lines together as you piece this pattern together. You can use tape or even a glue stick to connect the pieces of paper together. You'll want to refer to the size chart that is located on page 14 to know which line to cut out for your specific size. Go ahead and cut out all of your pattern pieces for the hoodie. Now that the pattern is all ready to go, we're going to cut out our fabric pieces. What you'll want to do is lay your fabric out in front of you and fold it in half to align your selvage edges. The selvage edge runs vertically along the length of your fabric. You're going to want to have the greatest amount of stretch going horizontally across your pattern. That's really important. Place the pattern piece on top of the fabric and pin it in place. Using scissors or a rotary cutter, cut around each pattern piece. If the pattern piece says cut on the fold, be sure to align it with the fabric's folded edge. Now you can pause the video here while you cut out all of your pattern pieces. Before you take your pattern pieces off of your fabric, make sure that you transfer all of your markings. So we have a marking on the hoodie pattern as well as on your front hoodie pattern. So for this front hoodie pattern, I'm going to use a pin and find my corresponding line. I just slide it through and make a little mark here. Do the same thing here. And you can flip it over and do the exact same thing on the other side. And for the hood, again, make that mark on all four pieces. Step three, sew the waistband, cuffs, hood, and pocket. Now it's time to start sewing. You can use a variety of different techniques to finish the seams. 
first you can use a stretch stitch on your sewing machine this looks kind of like a lightning bolt and it enables your seams to have a little bit more give to their stitches that way they don't pop when they're stretched out the final option is that you could use a serger to finish your seams a serger is going to give you a nice seam that's cut and finished all in one step now this option creates a more professional looking finish I'm going to use a combination of both my serger and my sewing machine for this project. If you only have a sewing machine, you can still make this project, so don't worry. Let's go ahead and start by prepping all of the bands and the cuffs for the hoodie. You should have two arm cuffs and one waistband. First, you're going to fold all of the cuffs in half long ways, wrong sides together, press and unfold. Fold the cuffs in half widthwise with the right sides together. Match the ends and sew the sides with a 3 8 inch seam allowance. Then go ahead and press your seams to the side. Set aside your bands and your cuffs and now we're going to work on our hood. Place the two main pieces right sides together. You're going to align the edges and sew just along this back seam. Now you're going to do the exact same thing with your lining as well. If your fabric happens to get stretched out, just be sure that you press it with some steam and shrink it back to its original size. Once you have both your main and your lining hood ready, open them both up. You're going to place them right sides together and align your front edges. Place some pins along those raw edges. Sew along the front edge only and then turn your hoodie right side out and press it really well. You can set your hood aside for now. Now it's time for us to prep our pocket. Place your two pocket pieces right sides together. Then you're going to sew along the sides, the slant and the top, leaving the bottom open. Turn your pocket right side out and press your seams. Using the markings, place the pocket on the front of your bodice. With it pinned in place, sew the top and the two side edges with a 1 4 inch seam allowance. Remember to backstitch both your sides to secure your threads. Step 4. Sew the bodice and sleeves. Now that we've got the front bodice ready to go, we're going to sew on the sleeves. While you can sew on the sleeves in any order that you'd like, be sure that you have the correct side of the sleeve aligning with the front. The pattern piece is marked with both a front and a back marking. Align the front sleeve line to the bodice. The sleeve curve is slightly different than the bodice, so there will be a slight amount of bunching. I like to pin both of my sleeves at once. Pin them together and sew. Repeat this on the opposite side as well. Open up your bodice and your sleeves and press your seams upward. Next, we're going to sew the back bodice to the sleeves. Starting with one sleeve, align the back to the back sleeve curve. Repeat this process on the opposite side as well. Now it's time to sew it all into place. Once you finish sewing, you can go ahead and press your seams. Now we're going to sew the side seams. Align the bodice right sides together, making sure the side of the bodice and the sleeves match up. I like to take care to line up my underarm seams perfectly. With it pinned in place, you can now sew it all together. It's finally starting to look like a hoodie. 
Step five, attach your cuffs, waistband, and hood. To sew the cuffs and the waistband on, you're going to want to turn your hoodie bodice right side out. Align the side seam of the cuff to the seam on the sleeve. Put the sleeve into the cuff. Then align the raw ends and pin into place. Be sure to distribute the fabric evenly. Now I'm going to attach my waistband. To do this, mark the middle of your waistband and then place the bodice inside of the waistband and align your seam allowance with the side seam allowance. Now it's time to sew both your waistband and your cuffs into place. You will have to gently stretch both your waistband and your cuffs to fit the fabric that they are matched with. Finally, I'm going to sew on the hood. Using the markings, I'm going to align the hood to the neckline right sides together. To make sure that everything is lined up properly, align the hood seam to the middle of the back and the hood marking to the middle of the front bodice. There should be about a one inch crossover, just like this. Evenly distribute the rest of your hood, then pin everything in place and sew all the way around. To finish your hoodie, pull the hood up and press your seams. I like to give my seams an additional press just to make sure everything is set in place. And now you have this adorable sweet red poppy hoodie. I can't wait to see the hoodies that you create with this pattern. Be sure to share them with me on Facebook or on Instagram and then tag sweet red poppy so that I can see them. If you enjoyed this video, go ahead and give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel for tons of free sewing patterns. I hope you enjoyed learning how to sew a simple kid's hoodie. I'll see you next week for another crafty tutorial.